Hello and welcome to part 2 of episode 19 on the OEB Let's Play series in Oldbrook V2. Now, it's a lot longer than 5 minutes. It's been a bit of a slog trying to fix that trailer. Uh, there was already a previously filmed episode but I got interrupted and had to go to work then I spent all night trying to find out why the trailer wasn't working. I got there in the end, it does work now. It was to do with how it was set up in the i3D. It was a multi-component trailer. Now, multi-components don't play nice with MR normally. Seemingly they don't play so nice with cosplay either. So, word of warning there, if there is a problem, check the i3D. Components are, well, use the chicken on the animal status for an example. When you look at the xenograph, the word chicken is down as zero. Now on a trailer, there's normally another one, which is where productivity is, that would be number one. It's two components. Number one is normally your floor collision for your stand. Say on the wagon there, the floor collision will be at the bottom of the legs and move up and down the supports. Everything else is component zero. Now with the trailer, the drawbar was component one and the floor collision was component two, making it a three component object. Now for some reason, I'm not quite sure if the drawbar was its own component. I'm presuming it was meant to move somehow, but I couldn't figure out what made it move or how it moved. Anyway, it got uh, cut and pasted into component zero, the floor collision was moved up to component one, and now it works. Yay! I think it's to do with how cosplay reverses the trailer. It looks for the attacher joint itself, which is obviously the fifth wheel on the wagon, and then searches for wheels inside there. In my research last night I found someone who was having a similar problem. Instead of reversing the trailer, it was a tractor reversing, and it seemed to be because cosplay couldn't find any wheels to make it into a trailer, and assumed it was an attached implement. Right, say a plow, well not a plow, <laughs> uh, say the cedar we've got, fully attached. So it assumed it didn't have wheels, was attached to the tractor and just reversed the tractor. So yeah, there's probably an easier way of doing it than I did, but obviously with the drawbar in theory moving, if I'd have left the attacher joint, moved that into one so it could find the wheels, and it did move, well, it was going to look a little bit silly. So it definitely does not move now. Right then. Uh, I think everybody else has actually finished. We're going to have to do a course record as well. I've learnt that you're not supposed to do reversing courses with the trailer attached. Because it drives with the trailer, say, well, pretend the fast track's pointing at the trailer. Obviously, you'd get to the end of the route, the trailer would hit the trigger, and you'd start going forwards because you can't go any further backwards. Well, when the trailer is obviously the first vehicle, it gets to that point, and then the tractor drives on a long way from the trigger. So we're going to have to redo the course. I just want to make sure everybody else is uh, not being silly at the minute. See, everybody's actually finished. <laughs> right, you're first. Uh, drive course. John Deere, uh, we need to get you off the field. Is the Massey going to ram the fence? Yes. Ugh. Yeah, this episode's probably going to be in long enough to be an episode in itself because we've got bits to do now. So these tractors can't do anything until they're finished up top. As these guys are on straw duty. So I'm going to set them up to some Mr. Brake Pedal. I'm going to set them all on. We're doing a little bit of work down here. You would have something in there, wouldn't you? You just couldn't resist. Continue. Drive now. The Massey seems to be uh, carrying on his harvest mission. You know what? I'm going to put this guy on slurry in. Get these fields through. The croissant is full, but we'll be able to use the massive when we get the fast track playing fair up at field 21. Just drop this trailer off here for now, out of the way. Yeah, you 
have dropped the weight. Always make sure you've got the right thing selected. But where have I left the slurry tank? Is it where it's supposed to be? Yes, I see it. Maybe move this camera a little bit too high. <laughs> see the top window. Come on. Not the best angle to drag this out either now. Taking the game a little bit too serious there. <laughs> right, we're out. Come back in out, there, no view. Uh, reset this course. We'll go field six. I'm loving these folders, they're great. Liquid fur and fur refill. Boom, boom, just like that. Close the group down. Stick you on that. First waypoint there. You can see all the cars is lit up by this. <laughs> I really like this version. And it has actually been updated again, I found out last night. This is, uh, as you see, the bottom right of the car's play hood. This is 0508. I think it's up to 0516 now. So I may stop, drive, 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 continue. How many times? Stop that last point, or that next trigger. Now that should stop him in the straw, but we shall see. Obviously, you're not going to be doing anything useful at the minute. If I can at least start you up. Because we've got to go and work with this guy. Now there's the old cars. We need a new cars. F21, goodbye. Thank you. Right then, here we go. And I have also discovered, if anybody's ever heard of a mod called Hireable Tools before, you can have, uh, I think it's as much as three vehicles on the same field, doing the same sort of cars, just slightly offset from each other. It looks cool, but I found out last night that Cars Play has a similar sort of thing. So we're going to have a play with that when we get some slurry in done. Probably should have put the John Deere on the slurry for that though. He was a little bit slow with the power harrowing. But we're not going to be able to do it until the slurry is done, so I can swap him over then. Leave him to slurry field 9, and we'll get the uh, Massey the fence power harrying field six because I think the slurrying is going to be done long before we get the straw done well this field done ready for strawing so right we'll try and keep a similar sort of angle now the guys recommend that you do drive forwards after you make this corner so everything is pretty straight obviously we have a phantom trailer on the back at the minute so we can only guess Right, stick you in reverse. But I have actually tested the trailer. I do know it does what we want it to do now. And it was cool to watch. Until it got to where obviously this little bit of the cars ended and then it decided that was enough. So can we go any further? Fair enough. If I lock him over the back, he's not coming off. Not bad to say he's only in two wheel drive. No! Epic fail! Alright, you see what I've done there? Just me. First 
take him a bit further forward so we get this right oh, it's going to go to pot I'm making a serious ass of this <laughs> right if we go from there actually we'll take it a little bit and go there right let's take it in reverse good good right, let's do this again Stick you in the trigger, right then. Forwards, 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 forwards. Everybody's happy. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Good, good, good. I have a blue message in the bottom corner. Bodes well for the massively behaving itself. Nice and straight for the gate. Oh, there is a steering axle on the flegel anyway, so she should be fine. Just to make sure. Nice white turns around here. This will really suck if this cast doesn't work because I've got too close to a hedge. <laughs> into the field ah, let's try this again F21 silo put it where it's meant to sell at the end oh yes I did finally get the in cars done but that may not work either we're going to have to test that one obviously that was the first attempt at the part 2 video I have to give up on the trade on that one because I didn't have a clue. Right, moving you into field 21. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good. So, we're not finished with that yet. We'll focus on this part first. Right then. Unload the combine. Nearest waypoint. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know if I mentioned before, there were a couple of texture files out on this trailer as well. I've been reminded about them, because uh, while I was at work I had to re-download. It was, it was going to take three hours to sync my Dropbox onto the laptop. Try behind the combine. Oh, if you must. Mm, he's not too far away. I have confidence in this working this time. I've literally tested it 10 minutes ago and it worked. And I really can't see the texture files causing a problem. Where are you going? Oh. Oh. Okay. I'll assume you know what you're doing. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty good lining up there. I believe I have 12 metre cars. I do, a combine cars. Brilliant. Yeah, when you're doing, oh, so we're going to be using dual tractors down in the, the fields later on for doing this uh, offset business. Uh, it says you have to use double working width. So we have 6 metre power arrows, so that means a 12 metre cars, which we have for the combine. Then you put in the offsets and unleash. There is another bit that we have to click, I'm not sure where that is at the minute, it's in one of these, was it the vertical, or side offset, might have been side offset, what should be on the latest version, I don't have it, must have been, I'm hoping it was anyway, that's obviously a start and stop, there you go, so it's, it's got to be the side offset. 
that's obviously the combine. So yeah, so minus three meters, plus three meters, let them have it. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can bring that page back up again and have another look. I think it's actually on my phone. Here we go, the moment of truth. Are we in business? Don't fail me now. Did it go far enough there? Yeah, nice and straight. See, touches the end. And heads backwards. Nice and straight at the minute, not proving anything, but at least it's not swinging over to the side. Obviously there's no waiting point in here, so if it has gone to pot, I will have to start again. There we go. First little kink in the course. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Success for the first part. Second part. Does it hit the trigger? And does it tip? Tip trigger reached apparently. Hee <laughs> look at that! Ah, success! Finally! <laughs> Alright, you won't go into pin heads because we've not got headlands yet, but for now... Bit of work to do up here. Well, down here. I think I do a refueling as well, looking at it. Down the first. So, there is a trick with car spray that if you run all your courses past the fueling point, it will automatically fuel when they start getting to the red. It's uh, something I've forgotten. I don't think any of my courses actually run past the diesel tanks. Amazing the little things you can pick up by spending a night searching Google. But I'm very much looking forward to trying this uh, power harrow business out. I've uh, also found out that the reversing part of course play will only work in grain transport, combine unload and field mode when you're doing your unload setting does not work in any of the others because I was attempting to do some testing at work uh, I was on Hagenstadt map but I was running them in transfer mode I now know that was an absolute waste of time oh there's a thing though the Perard overload trailer it was actually modelled and made by one of the guys who's assisting with the course play so I'm pretty confident that will work with cosplay. He's a uh, Satis, his name is. He's the one who does uh, a lot of cosplay tutorials. Just have a full collection on YouTube. And he does actually have that particular trailer demonstrated. I'm going the long way now. There we go. Obviously that was the pre-MRing. I'm not sure who's done the MRing. Nope, that's a lie. He has. I remember it now because I went looking for that again as well. So yeah, in theory, she will work perfectly for us. You're happy slurring away, just finishing your headlands. You're back with the combine. No combine in reach, me thinks you're being silly. Oh no, combine's empty. <laughs> so nice to have it working. I would have been rather disappointed if I had to get rid of that trailer. 
Luckily, down a fix. Just uh, feel a bit sorry for anybody else who's using it who uh, hasn't managed to come up with the ideas I have. Just having some modding experience, I've got a vague understanding of what I'm doing when things start going wrong. For people who actually just play the game, when it starts going wrong, they're pretty much screwed. So obviously it's not my mod. Uh, I possibly have just broken a fancy feature on the front. Let me be able to see. Yeah, you can look. The hydraulic ram there. All this part was its own object, and those are written in as having the reference points at the bottom of the ram, the top of the ram. It presumably does move, but also there was no mouse controls for it. I was pressing buttons, couldn't make it move up and down or anything. And there's no fancy scripts on the model saying it moves here or there so I don't know it's not throwing anything up in the log either yet since I've removed it so yeah it's got me confused that one for now oh, just thinking save game <laughs> just about to tempt fate there and say uh, watch well, it crash my game in five minutes well yeah let's not it's bad enough when the body, swap body trailers did us in I was really excited about those too. Oh well. I think the legal uh, definitely suits the purpose. And I can't imagine the swap bodies have been very happy about reversing either. But I suppose it all depends on that attach joint. This is my thinking. It all depends on the attacher joint. If the attacher joint is on the first component, it will register the wheels. Assuming the wheels are on the first component. Because some mods have them in different places as well just to make it even more complicated. We've got plenty of barley. Oh, there's a thing. What have we got in the seed bins? No barley. Don't like the fact this truck takes so long to set off. Especially with a full load. Strikes me as being very realistic. Problem is, in the reversing side, it seems to get a little turbo boost when it starts moving. this course I'm going to set this guy on it and see how he does because I want to know if this course will work. We will stay with him. But I will come clean. There was a slight reset moment. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? I'm not sure if I actually kept that particular video from the tour right at the beginning I lost a tractor in the water uh, this time I lost a scan yeah. did I just delete the cars? no no I'm choosing a folder <laughs> not paying attention <laughs> alright then cell routes cell in oh, I should have had capitals oh well Nearest waypoint, drive course, grain transport. How are you going to get to a silly speed? Are you going to behave? Four wheel drive. <laughs> turn, 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 turn. Then you can open her up. After you get past the second one. That's when the grain cover comes on. Yeah. What was the great demand actually looking? It's only 452. That's better than nothing. is kicking off in two days so we've got plenty of chill out time until then.
Yeah, no bone. I'll leave it on for the map so everyone can see where we're heading. Yeah, the bottom along field six. Zooms across down there, still circling field six. Have you noticed though, they're not proper roads. So it shouldn't really be going this fast, which is why I'm curious to know if the truck's going to make it or not. And it creeps along down the bottom of field 5 this time, instead of going left back there, we turn right, because obviously the shop's there. But we're not heading to the shop this time. We're creeping out over here, and we're going over the water. Down by field 22, and the quiet country pub. Now, when I lost the truck, I was in a bit of a rush. And as you can see from the car, oh no, that it doesn't stick to the object. There's obviously a little bit of a lip there, as this texture changes. See, I slowed down when I redid it, but when I first did it, we hit it far too quick, and we bounced over there. Luckily, it uh, managed to land upright, and I managed to get it back out. Carry on the cars. There's a thing. Anybody stuck yet? No. Ah, that's nice. Makes a refreshing change. I honestly thought the fast track would have found a hedge by now. Oh, looking at the PDA, he's just been to the farm. But the combine is stood. Oh dear. Hmm. Well, the way I've done the cars, I can't run two side by side, so it's just going to have to make it do, I'm afraid. Is he going to tip or overshoot? Looks close to overshooting. Bit of money. Obviously, not throwing everything at the great demand now. Uh, every hour that ticks by, the more we put into it, the more it's going to fall. It's quite possible by the end of the great demand, it's going to be worth less than some of the other grain stations. I said I was in a rush, uh, well I had to get ready for work, um, my wife came back with the baby and everything got really noisy again. So I was intending the part 2 episode to obviously finish this course and fix the trailer. Well I didn't get to fix the trailer and I didn't get to finish this course in the end. So I could have done a part 3 but things just went a little bit too wrong. But I didn't save it this time, so it was uh, able to backtrack. But uh, the course play doesn't save along with the main game, it saves to its own XML file. So every time you click save on a course, it's saved. Which is why this course has survived. Is the fast track just going to stop or is he going to try and peel away into the bush? No, he's just stopped. Well, that's gone rather well, hasn't it? I'm quite impressed by that. <laughs> the fence seems to be quite enjoying himself. 
he's either on a headland or he's just finishing. Looking at field six there, the yellow donut, I think he's just finishing. He's very close if he hasn't yet. But he's just gone west and now he's turned around and gone east. Obviously the course starts at the top of the field and he's at the south end. I am being beckoned, the baby has woken up. So this has uh, been a rather sh well I say a rather short episode, it's still been half an hour. <laughs> but yes, I'll call it quits there. I'll get the well, I'll get twenty one harvested, I'll get four harvested when it eventually turns. Uh, get this great demand in, see how much money we get, and hopefully I'll be able to plant a root crop next time. I do have a couple of nice harvesters. A little bit of MR work to them, we may be able to use those. So, maybe some more mods next time. So, right, thanks very much for watching. All courses work, we're back in business. <laughs> right, I'll catch you in episode 20. Bye.